It's my pleasure on behalf of our brilliant committee of over 60 cardiologists and the great team from the European Heart House to introduce this year's ESC programme. And of course, we have an extremely exciting, very comprehensive programme that covers the whole spectrum of cardiology. Now on Friday, as usual, we kick off with the new guidelines. And this year we have four new guidelines and we have a guideline update. So our new guidelines this year are on acute coronary syndromes, on infective endocarditis, on cardiomyopathies and on cardiovascular disease in patients with diabetes. These will be summarised on Friday and then over the four days of the programme we will look at each guideline in detail. The focused update is on heart failure reflecting the remarkable progress that's occurred in just a couple of years and indeed because of that heart failure is the focus of this year's Congress. The other highlight of the programme of course is the late breaking science and hotline sessions and this year we have 17 late breaking science sessions, nine hotlines. In those sessions we will have 115 trials, clinical trial updates and registries presented. Our nine hotlines will cover trials in acute coronary syndromes and coronary intervention acute and chronic heart failure, atrial fibrillation, both anticoagulation and ablation trials. There will be a trial in pacing and cardiac resynchronization therapy. We have a trial in amyloidosis, myocarditis and even cardiovascular oncology. And of course, these are so exciting. This is where we learn about the new breakthroughs in cardiology that will influence our practice. The first of the hotline sessions, it, sessions is on Friday, so Friday is a big day. And of course, in the programme, we also have opportunities for you to meet and ask questions of the clinical trialists uh, at later sessions after the hotline presentations. In addition to our late breaking science sessions and hotlines and guidelines, we have 189 other plenary educational sessions of a whole variety of different types. One of my favourites is the great debates. We've got many of those this year covering the most controversial areas in cardiology. In addition, there will be 3,500 abstracts presented by over 3,000 investigators from 86 different countries around the world and some of those abstracts will be presented as electronic posters and in our research gateway, which I encourage you to visit, uh, we will also have interesting clinical case presentations. There will be 240 of those in this year's programme. In addition, it's worth mentioning that all the major medical and cardiology journals also have sessions and that will give you the chance to catch up on the latest and most important publications in the past year in these leading journals. Two themes running through the programme are digital health, digital in innovation, so important in cardiology today. We have a special digital health hub. And in addition, we've tried to create a track in the programme looking at implementation, in other words, looking at the sessions that describe how to use the wonderful treatments that we have in cardiology in clinical practice. All of this is already available to look at. We have the programme online. The app is already there for you to download. And all of this doesn't end on Monday when the Congress finishes all of the content will be available to you to continue your learning after the Congress on ESC 365. So whether you're 
a cardiologist in training or you're in practice and, wants to and want to stay on top of your game, Amsterdam is the place to be.